Hello and welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Uh, it's Entrepreneur Week coming up and we've got a lot we're going to talk about that. Lawana Chene is the Regional Development Director for UNCF. The Mayor's Mass Ball is coming up and she's got all the information on probably what's one of the biggest events in New Orleans. Victoria Adams Phipps is with the Idea Village and this is their big deal, the Entrepreneur Week. So she's going to be talking about that, how you can be involved in that. Kelsey Scram is with Jedco. We love Jedco. It's the Economic Development Branch of Jefferson Parish. They're part of Entrepreneur Week, and she's going to be talking about the competition that they have. And finally, Scott Thomas. What an incredible event he's got. He's part of the New Orleans Mini Market Fair, and this is the greatest show and tell on earth. And after you hear him talk about it, you can see why. So stay with us. We'll be right back. for life because there's so much to live for help the american cancer society finish the fight walk join donate now and welcome back to across louisiana and thank you so much for being a part of the show today we've really got a great show lined up and what a better way to start out with Awana Chenye from the uh, UNCF and well, you are the Regional Development Director, correct? Correct, yes. Welcome, thanks Thank for taking you. time to be here. I know it's a busy time for you guys because of the upcoming Mayor's Mass Ball and we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. But uh, UNCF does such a great job and, and you do so many things and I, I don't think people are aware of all the great things the organization does so I thought we'd take a few minutes and talk about the organization, what you do, and uh, some of the things you guys are involved in, because you are involved in a lot. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me, Steve. When well, UNCF has, for more than 73 years, has been raising funds for kids to get to and through college. We provide the opportunity for to raise funds for students who wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to mm -hmm. attend college. And here in Louisiana alone, uh, last year, we raised $2 million in support of students to attend college. That's incredible. That's yes. absolutely incredible. Yes, we have more than 400 scholarship programs that students can apply for. So the impact is huge and um, you know we are always proud of the work that we do uh, to help students realize their dream in getting a college education. Yeah. Now I, I'm, I'm taking it that most of the students are graduating seniors, right, that are looking for scholarships and things or are there other grades that you can apply for scholarships it's for? All, it's entering college, um, seniors entering college, okay. as well as students who are in college that may f face a financial hardship, oh, okay. that may not have the funds to continue their education. And UNCF always steps up to the plate to help those deserving students to continue their college education. Yeah, and, gosh, you know, you, you hear so much now with uh, the, the, quote, budget crisis yes. that the state is in and how colleges are affected. So, I mean, a great opportunity for students to really take advantage of this. Uh, the website is uncf.com. uncf.org. uncf.org. Right. Uh, we'll put that on the screen. Correct, so, and uh, sp specifically for the event that we'll talk about, we have a special website I, and for that's, that. That's why I didn't say that. Yes. <laughs> uh, so if, if I wanted to get information about the scholarship programs mm -hmm. and the things that you're involved in and, and how you said you got over 400 scholarships available. Absolutely, so right. Can you apply online? You can apply online. There's a plethora of scholarships. Okay. It's a description so students can build their profile and uh, fill out the profile and then they can match with the various scholarships that they can apply for. And here in uh, New Orleans, our two member institutions, Xavier and Dillard University, um, over 93% of students um, in our area need some type of financial aid. And so we, you know, do what we can in helping to raise yeah. funds so that they can keep tuition moderately uh, low and affordable to deserving mm -hmm. students who would like to t attend and college. Let me ask you a question, uh, just something I'm curious about sitting here thinking, if, if, if my child has got, uh, and there's, there's numerous scholarships out there, mm -hmm. if my child has got a scholarship through another organization, I can still go online and apply to UNCF, right? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. As All long right. as they meet the criteria, um, there's certain criteria for various scholarships, okay. and so if they meet it and they're awarded the scholarship, it's a, a wonderful assistance. Mayor's Mass Ball. That's yes. Third annual? Third annual. Incredible event. Absolutely. It's the one of the city's signature Absolutely. fundraising event. Absolutely. And we're very happy that um, Mayor Mitch Landrieu has joined us once again as to host this event. And so that's coming up on March 12th. 
at the Hyatt Regency, New Orleans. Tickets? Tickets can... available. Uh, tickets are $500 each. Okay. And we have sponsorships that are available as well. Um, this year promises to be another exciting event. Um, our sponsors, LCMC, Health, Ashner Health mm -hmm. System, as well. Uh, we're very appreciative. Uh, Hyatt Regency, New Orleans, uh, WDSU, and of course, Cox. Um, we and, appreciate and is, your involvement. You know, and it is a fundraiser, to, as we were talking earlier. This is a fundraiser to raise funds to go back to students. So I mean, it's, it's a great event, but it's also right. a, a worthy event. Right, over the past uh, two years, we raised over $2 million. Um, more than 200 students received direct res uh, support as a result of this event. And we couldn't do what we do without our volunteers and our supporters, our sponsors um, who are involved with this. Uh, this year, we're happy to have Kevin Frazier as a celebrity oh, wow. MC, co-host of Entertainment Tonight. Yeah. He'll awesome be joined guy. by New Orleans' own Camille uh, Whitworth of WDSU. Um, who will also MC, and our dinner entertainment is New Orleans' own DeVal Crawford. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And headliner, uh, Grammy Award winning Shaka Khan. Wow. What, yes. What, what an event. And, and we did point out earlier, this is a, a different website. We'll put that on the screen. Correct. But it's uncf.org slash NOLA Massball. Again, we'll put that on the screen. We're running out of time. I want to thank you so much thank for you. what UNCF does. You guys are awesome. Uh, congratulations on the money raised. Right, uh, and I do want to mention go, go right we have exciting live auction, um, a trip to the Ellen DeGeneres show, wow. as well as a yacht cruise for your few of your favorite friends with your personal chef. Um, we're honoring Bill Goring as our Mask Award recipient and also the highlight of the night, we're raffling a car. Um, thanks to Supreme Automotive, it's a 2016 Nissan Maxima. Oh Raffle tickets only $50. Yeah, no wonder this so, is a signature event. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the Celebrity me, chefs. And again, we're going to put that website on the screen to tell me to wrap it up. We can sit there and talk about this all day. We've got a few more guests coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you again so much for being on the show. Victoria Adam Phipps is with us today. She is with the Idea Village, but most importantly, she is the executive producer for an incredible week in New Orleans, the New Orleans Entrepreneur Week. The eighth year you guys have been doing this. The eighth it year. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, Cox has had the pleasure of being a part of this for the last two years with what we do. I got to tell you, for, for New Orleans, I get so excited about this just because of the pitches that go on and entrepreneurs. And tell us a little bit about how you started doing this. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. As you mentioned, we are going into our eighth year. Uh, New Orleans Entrepreneur Week is an eight-day festival celebrating innovation, entrepreneurship, and advanced thinking specific to New Orleans and the region surrounding it. Um, so originally, the festival started as a way to engage MBAs post-Katrina, mm -hmm. and we realized there was magic in bringing a group of people together to support local companies. And so over the years, it's evolved into a true festival where every day there's a variety of events taking place. Any given time, there's probably five different things you can attend from key Notes, speeches, seminars, roundtables, networking events, all of which are free and open to the public. Well, and, and that's the thing I wanted to point out. The majority of this stuff is free. Yes. I mean, and, and if you're an entrepreneur or even a business person, I mean, there's so much stuff that's going on here. I wonder, the website is noew.org. Noew.org. All information about the event or that week can be found on the website. If, for example, on Monday, if I want to know who's going to be where doing what, I can go on the website yes. and see that. You can find the full schedule of events, the dates, the times, the people who are engaged, the partners like Cox who are engaged. Um, and it's a very exciting dynamic lineup. I mean, you have huge global luminaries like Steve Case who founded AOL, Alexis Ohanian who founded Reddit, uh, Juan Kim, local CEO of Smoothie King, all of them are going to be there in rooms that hold, you know, maybe 200, 300 people, but for free. You're never going to have a chance to get that sort of up close and personal interaction with these folks at any other festival. So it truly and is a unique experience. Where, where does most of it take place? It, so I know they, it's in different spots. So the full festival actually is taking place on Fulton Street, okay. right downtown. Um, and we really transformed that space into an entrepreneurial village. Lots of good parking. Good parking, lots of restaurants. So you don't really have an excuse. For those <laughs> of you that work downtown, you can just walk right over. Um, and good news is with it being free and open to the public, you can pop in and out. You don't have to commit to staying mm -hmm. for the full day. And, and, and again, on the website, I can find information on what's going to be happening on, say, Monday, Tuesday. You can. Okay. So you can, you know, once you register, there's actually a little tool that pops up and says, okay. you know, create your schedule and you can dig through all those events and pick the ones you like and love. Okay. Now, I, I know a lot of the, the pitch competitions have deadlines. I know yes. for Cox, 
uh, our deadline is, uh, or depending on when the show airs, is or was March the 3rd. Yes. The, the website gives me, if I'm pitching, it gives me deadlines and information. Yes. So within each pitch competition, it'll say whether those finalists have been selected or if those applications are still open and what that corresponding deadline is. Okay. We also have a space on the website that just highlights open opportunities in general. So if you're an entrepreneur and you want to either pitch, showcase, or demo your product, or even just um, come and hang out at some of the networking events, yeah. all those open opportunities are listed. All right, real quick before we run out of time, the, the thing on Friday is phenomenal. Yes. The, what's it called? The Big Idea. The Big so Idea. The Big Idea is how we close out the week, and it's a really exciting one. Um, when you buy a ticket to that event, you get a $25 poker chip. The tickets are $25, so it actually is direct pass through to entrepreneurs. Each poker chip um, goes towards one of those entrepreneurs. So you attend, you walk around, you meet and greet 10 companies, you give that $25 to a company of your choice. Everyone goes home with whatever allocation of chips they've gotten. The top three then get on stage, pitch the crowd, <laughs> pitch a celebrity judging channel, and the winner goes home with an additional $25,000. And it's wild. It's wild. It's a fun, you know, it's going to be a beautiful day in March. Yeah. There's bands playing, Tank and the Bangers, great local band is going to be joining us to close things out. Beers, food, you're going to have a great time. We hope you'll see it yeah, there. Victoria, I, again, it, it is, if, and, and, until you've seen this, you have no idea how exciting this is. I want to thank you for coming on the show, talking about this. Congratulations on the success. I know Cox is very proud to be a part of this. And it's just, from me being down there last year, the whole week is absolutely phenomenal. Best of success. We look forward to having you on the show next time, talking about the ninth annual uh, yes. idea. So anyway, stay with us. we got a couple more guests. We'll be right back. life because there's so much to live for help the american cancer society finish the fight walk join donate now and welcome back to across louisiana always great to have kelsey scram on the show she is with jedco incredible organization uh, we want to talk about the JEDCO challenge, but real quick, Kelsey, JEDCO, a couple of sentences, what is JEDCO? Sure, so JEDCO is the Jefferson Parish Economic Development Commission. So we bring new business to the community and work with our existing businesses to make sure they have everything they need to grow and find success. And, and one thing, we always have Jerry on the show, one thing I love to point out, you're also an incubator for businesses, yes. and your, your, your facilities out there are by far the best I could spend a whole show talking about that, but let's talk about the JEDCO Challenge. Yes. So give us, give us all the information on that. Yes, so the JEDCO Challenge, powered by First NBC Bank, is a Jefferson Parish-based pitch competition held during New Orleans Entrepreneur Week. So we have chosen five startup companies um, to pitch at Southport Hall on March 14th, and they have seven minutes to get up in front of a crowd of people pitch their idea to a panel of Jefferson Parish business leaders and the crowd, and then the crowd and the business leaders will choose a winner. $20,000 on the line, wow. some additional in-kind services to help them grow their business. So it's a really huge, energetic, exciting and event. And when is it? It's, it's March 14th. Okay. Yes. And where's it going to be held at? Southport Hall. Free and open to the public. Free and open to the public, yes. Drinks, food? Um, there will be drinks. There will be um, some samples uh, given out from some of our startup oh. companies, so some, some neat stuff <laughs> oh. there. But, uh, yeah, it's from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. This is not just a family show. You can say <laughs> right. what's going to be there. It's a li little, bit, little bit of everything <laughs> yeah. there. It's going to be great. So. And, and it's free and open to the public. Uh, do I need to register to attend or anything like yes. that? Yes. Um, we have some information about how to register on our website. It's okay. jedco.org slash challenge. Okay. Um, and you can also register on the NOE um, website. That's N-O-E-W.org. And I, I also just want to point out, you, you do have your five finalists. Yes. So nobody can really go online to register anything, but the thing that you need and the thing that you want is this is a audience-based judge competition. Uh -huh. So the more people you have there, uh, the, the more better. participation you have. Yes. And you also, I mean, you learn a lot about entrepreneurs. Uh -huh. You got food, you got drink, and so forth. Yes, um, it's, I like to sort of say it's like um, American Idol meets Shark Tank. <laughs> so you've got your sharks, you've got the five judges up there who are making up the bulk of the scoring, um, but there are also there's also a crowd vote component. You get a little chip and you get to pop it in your box and choose who you want to win, and it all comes together to, to choose that finalist. Now, let me ask you this. From, from Jedco's point of view, the 
last seven years that you've done this, have those businesses stayed here in Jefferson Parish? Um, some of them are in New Orleans, some of them are in Jefferson mm -hmm. Parish, but all of them have stayed and grown. Yeah, that's incredible. I mean, yes. that's a great part of the whole program mm -hmm. by itself right there. Absolutely. So give us the website one more time. We'll it's, put it on the screen. It's jedco.org slash challenge. And the event is at Southport Hall yes. from... From 2 to 5 p.m. March 14th. Does it start right at 2? or 2 o'clock, okay. um, and there's kind of a 30-minute period where you get to mill around, network, meet our, our five startups. I, just They're a very diverse um, group of finalists, so they range from bioscience, technology, mm -hmm. we've got retail, we've got food and beverage. Really, really neat group of companies. And if you want to be involved in the competition next year, what a great way to find out how to get yes. involved by going to this. Absolutely. Kelsey, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Please give our best to Jerry. And you, again, congratulations to Jedco for all the great work you guys thank do. You, so you really do a phenomenal us. job. Stay with us. We've got one more guest. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Uh, our final guest is Scott Thomas, and Scott is the director of the New Orleans Mini Market Fair. I, I gotta tell you, before we talk to Scott, we were talking before this segment, this is probably the neatest thing that I have heard on this show since this show has been going on. Scott, welcome to the show. Thank you. This is incredible. I mean, th that's one thing I love about this show is we get to hear things like this all the time. So I want you to talk to this, and I love it that this is called the greatest show and tell on earth. This is your, what year? This is? This is our third year. Okay. Um, and talk about what this is now, because I think this is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the, the New Orleans Mini Maker Fair is broadly put, it's a show and tell. Uh, it's a chance for local makers, people who are doing things uh, in the community, whether it's DIY, inventing, uh, arts and crafts, to come and show off their projects. It's a venue for us to be able to showcase the local maker community and uh, show off what New Orleans is doing, is doing locally. And, and it's also a venue for people like me who I'm not a maker, uh, I get to come and look at all of this stuff because last year you had well over 75, 75 makers Correct. on site showing their products, their wares, their goods, their services. Uh, Absolutely. It's, uh, the, it's the best part of this event is it's a great chance to be inspired. You know, you may have an idea that's been in the back of your mind about something you've wanted to create, but you weren't too sure how to do it. Right. You go to our event, you may see somebody right. else I who is doing something similar have a great conversation with them, go home inspired, yep. and get to work on yeah, it. Yeah, I was just going to bring that up. So, uh, give me the, when's the date? It's it's April 9th, Saturday, April 9th. And it's held where at? It's going to be at Bricolage Academy on Bayou St. John. Okay. Admission? Admission is $12 at the door, $10 in advance. But uh, if, you, if you're a maker, it's free, right? It is free to be a maker, uh, but all makers must apply at our website. There's a link to the application. And is, is that uh, nolamarketfair.com? nolamakerfair.com. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you this. As, as people watch the show uh, right now, uh, deadline, I mean, I, I can still, if I want to be a part of this, I can still do that? I, yes, so we are getting close to being full in okay. terms of how many makers we can have, but we'll consider any applications okay. if, if can there's a maker. Can I apply online? Yes, absolutely, okay. at our webpage. All right. uh, it is important to note, I said $12 uh, for admission. Kids up to 18 are free. God, uh, I mean, so, this, this yeah. really is, I mean, you, you just said the key thing I would want to, if I've got an idea and I don't really know how I want to do it or how I want to employ it. What a great way to come and watch 75 people who may have done something like I want to do. You can talk to them, get ideas. Uh, you, you mentioned that even some food makers are there. I mean, not, not everybody's going to be, quote, giving away part of their product. I mean, some will, right. some won't. Right. So we do have some commercial makers who are there to sell a product or to advertise their Kickstarter, that sort of thing. But the great thing about the maker community is that it's just that. It's a community. Personally, if somebody comes to me and they're excited to do something that I know how to help, I know how to do what they're doing, yeah. I want to help them because right. I love being a maker and I want other people to love being a maker as well. And so this event is a great way for for other makers to help people. So let me ask you this, and, and before we wrap up, uh, 
if I'm an entrepreneur and I'm looking for, quote, business ideas, things mm -hmm. to do, I mean, this is a way to come talk to some people. I might be able to get into business with Absolutely. You. It's a great opportunity to All go right. and, uh, you know, form some partnerships, make some great contacts. Scott, this, this is absolutely incredible. The greatest show and tell on earth. And you've been watching The Greatest Show across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We hope you had some good information. Uh, this, this is a phenomenal city, and today just tells us even more of why we gotta go. See you next time.